सो विथ नो कोड एन ए आई यू कैन रियली ऑटोमेट थिंग्स दैट यू नेवर थॉट अबाउट इट्स अ सिंपल फिलोसफी दैट द फाउंडर्स द मैनेजमेंट लेवल पीपल बेसिकली एवरीबडी इन अ कंपनी शुड वर्क ऑन क्रिएटिव स्टफ एंड नॉट ऑन मैकेनिकल स्टफ विच इज लाइक अ रिपीटेटिव प्रोसेस विच दे टू डू ऑल द टाइम अगेन एंड अगेन विच अ कंप्यूटर कैन एक्चुअली टेक ओवर सो एनी थिंग दैट यू आर रिपीटिंग लेट कंप्यूटर हैंडल वेन आई वॉज बिल्डिंग दीज थिंग्स आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शो केस टू द वर्ल्ड एंड डिलाइट पीपल बिकॉज आई सॉ दिस एक्सपीरियंस एंड आई वॉज एडिक्टेड बिल्ड समथिंग एंड शो इट टू द वर्ल्ड एंड पीपल विल लाइक हाउ डू यू बिल्ड इट इन टू डेज और इन वन वीक और स्टफ लाइक दैट एंड इट जस्ट मेड मी शो केस माई वर्क मोर ऑफ What is up you beautiful people in this video I'm going to interview Manan he is one of uh the best friends that I have seen uh, in recent years and he is incredibly talented when it comes to building uh, no clue, no code apps and using AI on top of that and a little bit of back story when I met Manan uh, we met on a mastermind and I had this immediate thought like ye banda was he smart from his childhood or like he just smart became smart over the years uski mummy isko kya khila di thi <laughs> but to give you a better intro uh, he has been working with fortune 500 companies and he has built a very successful agencies all without sending any cold emails so in this video we'll interview manan so deep dive into his secrets of how he runs his own uh, app development in, you know agency and uh, how exactly he generates clients so welcome to the podcast manan thank you so much for having me here jain uh, awesome. firstly the mu- the feeling is mutual and i am completely impressed with the work that you guys do uh, so uh, and thanks for the introduction as well so i'll just quickly tell you more about the company that we run uh, mm. i run a company called modernizing processes yeah. where we basically do what we say what the company says we modernize processes for use cases which usually were previously too complex to build uh, with technology or just too expensive and too much time consuming hmm. uh, so now give me an with, example no so with no code and ai you can really automate things that you never thought about uh, let's take a simple example of expense management i'm taking this example because it's easy to understand but every company has employees who are spending money on travel food etc and usually it was always done through credit voucher system which was paper driven hmm. or you keep your bill and you will submit it submit to your on the office yeah. exactly and then you will get your reimbursement probably 15 days later hmm. and not in your current cycle at the same time somebody in the company will be dedicated like will be spending 3 to 4 hours to consolidate all this information put it on excel etc etc now the whole process can be automated using an app hmm. scan upload send it to the uh, the cfo get it approved it gets credited to your salary immediately all on automation exactly hmm. now this is something which a lot of companies do any which ways nowadays but understand this as a process now there are so many such small nuanced processes in a lot of companies which takes a lot of time from Correct. the business owners like Correct. like for example one of the things that uh, we recently automated was like uh, the moment the client comes we would have to like send them a calendly link correct once they book a call we would have to send them an onboarding form like also fill this questionnaire and watch this video so now it is what we have done like once they have made the payment through razer pay or insta mojo unless they have paid it through mm-hmm. net banking uh, what we have done is like if they made payment through razer pay and insta mojo they automatically get redirected there is a video embedded they watch that fill the form then once they click the button go to the calendly page book the call so human element has re- so absolutely and you have uh, eliminated a lot of bottlenecks as well right yeah. and what i it's a simple philosophy that the uh, the founders the management level people and basically everybody in a company a, any human should work on creative stuff hmm. and not on mechanical stuff which is like a repetitive process which they have to do all the time yeah. again and again uh, which a computer can actually take over hmm. so anything that you are repeating let computer handle just just create a structure around it automate it because there is possibility now Mm. So you basically understand how a thing works and try to automate whatever the parts that can be automated. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, man, I know you, but uh, probably my audience doesn't know you. I know that you have worked with some really big name clients. So, if you can share some details of the kind of clients that you worked with, sure. that would be like really good. So, we basically work with. Uh, we have a fifty-fifty split at the moment. Fifty percent is India, fifty percent is abroad. and majorly majorly us and we work with like two types of clients one is uh, somebody who wants to automate their internal processes what i talk, uh, spoke about and the other is somebody who wants to build their mvps uh, mm. their idea into an mvp very quickly with a lot yeah. of iterations and reach like product market fit uh, with lesser amount of time lesser amount of investment 
and more flexibility what do you mean by mvp mvp is a minimum viable product hmm. it's basically uh, whenever you have an idea you want to launch it to the market you need to build you can't build zomato in a day you can build okay. you can build all the features uh, because you don't know what is going to work yeah. so you need to build something small test it in the market but what exactly to build hmm. now uh, with code this same journey would take probably months hmm. or maybe years as well with no code it takes weeks Ah, so yeah. basically, let's say I have an idea of launching an e-commerce Correct. app. Correct. And with no code, you can just pretty much build it, run ads, yes. see what sort of responses you are getting, and optimize over time. I think it also helps with, let's say, you're pitching to investors. Absolutely. Have an app ready. It just it's nice too. So we have some startups who, uh, with our app, uh, like with the product that we made, they won competitions, they raised their pre-seed rounds, their angel rounds. Etc. And then they are scaling from there. Mm. Uh, so that's where we help. Mm. Now some startups to name over there is Julia Technologies, Arva Health, which is based in Bangalore itself. Um, Coro is another company based in uh, the US. Uh, so these are all startups which are budding startups. Uh, and uh, you know it feels such a joy to start their journey with us uh, in the beginning. Because you see, because of your product, they got their first round of funding. Exactly. And, all that. and on the other side, there are a lot of traditional businesses. So we are working with a limited company in Mumbai, which mm. is called Sanjeevani. Uh, we are working with uh, Tech Sparks, Your Story. Your Story. Uh, okay. uh, for an event management thing. We have worked with uh, one of the biggest FMCGs, uh, whose products all of us probably are using on a, on a daily basis. I won't take the name, but it's easy to guess. Eventually, I'll probably be able to showcase. But okay. it's it's a secret right now. Okay. We're working with a leading venture capitalist based in Bangalore itself. So a lot of these companies who have uh, a lot of operations internally, and they are taking the next step to build tech for things previously which they didn't didn't dive into. Like internal processes Absolutely. to automate these Absolutely. things. Absolutely. All right. How exactly do you get started, if I ever want to ask? Because when I see this, I'm a non-technical guy, right? Correct. So uh, when I think about this stuff, like MVP, <laughs> I came to know about it recently. Like, I don't know this stuff. But uh, how exactly you got yourself? You started with computer science background or like how exactly? Not really. I'm also non-technical. Okay. I'm, I'm a mechanical engineer, not a computer engineer. But uh, the common thing between mechanical and computer is there's an input, there's an output, and there's a process in the middle. And the process is always an algorithm, a logic, and in mechanical terms, it's a machine. Mm. It's uh, in, in uh, computer, it's just the computer and it's a, the software. Uh, yeah, it's a medium basically. Yeah. Now, in my case, uh, I am a hardcore mechanical engineer. I, I love machines, but when I graduated, I graduated right before the pandemic. So oh. when I got out, uh, because I I was a lot into operations, I always loved to be on field, but with the pandemic, I couldn't do all those things. Now, just while my college was ending, I was doing an internship at a warehouse, improving some operations. And over there, I was op improving operations using Google Sheets, uh, using some logic mm. and just to improve the process. And one find I was just searching how to make a Google Sheet look better and automate. I don't even remember what, but SEO helped me. Okay. And I came across this tool called Glide, mm. which basically helped Glide, me. is it? Glide, okay. G-L-I-D-E. Okay. Uh, which basically helps you build on top, build an app on top of Google Sheets. Mm. Back then, it wasn't even called No Code. It was just just a tool, and I was like, maybe I can give it a shot. And in the next next week, one week or so, I completely automated what I was doing on Google Sheets and put it on an app. Mm. And then I started showing it to my computer science friends, and they were like, How the hell did you do it? <laughs> and I was like, This was this tool out there and stuff, and they were really mind blown. Mm. And because I, I could see their feedback and I could, the internship where I was working, I could see their feedback as well, uh, that both of them were mind blown with what I could put together. I was like, I'm onto something good. But back then I had parked this idea. Mm. And, but as soon as the pandemic hit and I was forced to stay at home, I had nothing to do with machines, with what I loved, to, uh, loved doing. I was like, I need to find something. And then this idea came up. And at the same time, the no-code wave also was running. Mm. So I was just fortunate to catch the wave, uh, showcase my work, and get clients through that. Okay, uh, you just made it sound way too easy. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, you figured this out when you were an intern. Uh, yes. So you guys realize why I mentioned like... No. <laughs> I was a very <laughs> easy intern. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I strongly feel that I, I was just um, very lazy. Lazy in the sense, 
I also wa- always wanted to find the shortest way to reach uh, and to to get job done. Okay, mm. because I don't I didn't want to do the same thing again and again. Mm. I just hated it. So I was always trying to find how to make things better, how to automate, how to uh, find a shortcut. Okay. Uh, not in the negative way, but basically find uh, a faster route to do the same job. Mm. And through this, uh, I ended up building things which were just you know uh, shortcuts. Mm. Uh, no code is also in, it's in my. Cut. It's yeah. a shortcut. Yeah. Uh, but a shortcut that works. Mm. So that's what uh, that's how I put it. Uh, it's it's just my laziness which gives birth to all these things. So you figure out how a certain thing works. Like like for example, I. I think I, I learned this from you to be really honest like this integration that you did with slack i remember uh, something similar i did like as soon as a lead comes it also shows in slack and they they see something else the video that they watch correct. and everything so basically we figured out okay this is how leads come and this is the journey and which parts of this we can automate which part of this can be manual and we just basically figure out a way how to aut- reduce human errors and exactly uh, and in this world in the in the day and age where, where we live of course with ai as well coming in all these things are much simpler mm. these things which were able like only highly skilled people could do now can be done with everybody mm. of course i am not saying that the value of high skilled people has gone away they can do bigger problems mm. they can solve bigger stuff yeah. but the smaller things are now more democratized so we are just leveraging that so um, but what you just told me it's sounds good on paper ki ha maine ye skill seekh liya and started getting clients but I mean, being in business for like what good five years now, I can I know for a fact that learning a skill and building a business are like entirely different things. So now that you have learned, okay, I can use let's say Glide or there are certain other tools that you can use to build this app. So whatever, how did you go from there to actually building a business where you hire talent, hire uh, you know get clients and start serving them, build like a multi-crore agency or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> so how did you go from here to there? Yeah, so. I think the the best thing was when I started the business. I didn't know how tough it's going to be. <laughs> Hence, I started. <laughs> Everybody does that. Yeah, but um, uh, it just started out of experimentation. Mm. Uh, back when in the pandemic, when I enjoyed building these products, I was just building out of passion because I was free. And when I was building these things, I just wanted to showcase to the world and delight people uh, because I saw this experience and I was addicted. Okay, build something. and show it to the world and people will be like how did you build it in two days or in one week or stuff like that and it just made me showcase my work more often mm. now once i started doing this people started asking me so why did you showcase this work so this was showcased usually on uh, somewhere on twitter sometimes on linkedin and some niche communities like internal forums and stuff mm. uh, which talk a lot about no code and stuff no code communities exactly oh. i started showcasing my work there never knew i could monetize this But then people started asking me questions. How do I do this? How do I do that, etc. And then there was one fine day. There was a guy who was who was like, build an app for me. And I'm like, I can charge money for this. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's how my freelancing journey started. Hmm. I worked as a freelancer for a while. And every time I built something for a client, I would showcase it to the world. I did. I made sure I did a good job. I made sure I put uh, all the effort I could uh, with the with the skill I had developed, whatever I had developed back then. and uh, because of just putting the depth in the product i usually good would get good referrals from the client who i'm working with or through showcasing their product i would get some other leads and it basically was very organic mm. and after a point i reached a point where i was just burnt out because i had too many clients to service mm. in the beginning it's always fun but as soon as you are like you're not you you don't have time for yourself you start feeling now it's a good problem to have but now you need to scale yeah. and from there i started deciding and started hiring okay my first hire was actually a friend who was i was like boss it's a pandemic uh, he was also doing you don't have any work to bekar yeah. beta mere paas aa jaye not like that <laughs> it's it was just that i knew he uh, he has the same logical skills uh-huh. and i'm like uh, i found something new are you interested and he was like yeah let's let's okay. figure out and he joined me and uh-huh. then i realized oh this is how you hire This, oh. is how, this is how you pay salaries. <laughs> this is how a business is made, and then yeah. started learning things through books, through videos, through some consultancy coaching, etc. Hmm. Uh, back then, it was uh, trying to consume as much information as possible, and eventually, it started filtering out. Hmm. But that journey started from as a freelancer in probably three, three and a half years. It's grown into a team, and solving problems as they came to me, hmm. like solving operations problem first, 
then sales problems second then again operations problems and it's it's a it endless cycle keeps going on yeah. yeah that's there but uh, when we talk about this what you have achieved is like so phenomenal why because i work with a lot of development clients mm-hmm. and they struggle with finding new clients always but i have never seen you in a phase where you don't have clients you always keep talking well, i have done uh, talking about i have done this for this client mm-hmm. that for that client uh, so if i have to repurpose this question like you know what if somebody in the development space app web web app whatever no code low mm-hmm. code proper code whatever is development at the end of the day because mm-hmm. client yeah. probably doesn't care what you build it Correct. with right how should one get started so getting started is always going to be experimental uh you need to go about uh, uh getting your hands dirty mm. by building something on your own mm. and now when you are in a development space so in terms of getting clients this is what i realized after doing a lot of experimentation and stuff and what's working for me right now mm. this might change eventually but this is what is working for me right now what i started seeing was patterns for example whenever i'm seeing any kind of marketing content like i'm seeing email newsletters from jayant who is selling email services mm. so jayant is doing cold emails and selling cold email services mm. and for him cold emails is working well mm. now i try to understand okay for jayant cold email is working well let me try it out and for me uh i of course uh, i didn't feel like doing it in the beginning then after that let's move to uh personal branding for example you see linkedin filled with uh, personal brand uh, selling services but those people have a very good personal brand mm. so you are buying personal brand services yes, from the people they have the they are their own proof of work exactly exactly okay. so that's where i'm coming to now as a development team if i'm trying to use a channel which is not my forte it wasn't it wasn't matching like mm. for me it, it felt like okay this is this might not work but what started really working was uh demoing the work that we do so mm. basically started building products uh of the work that we do uh started building products of my clients in public mm. of course with their uh with their okay. consent mm. but uh, showcasing the work that we do because we are proud of it and we are excellent at that so you build your own app to showcase yes. that so we, we know we know how to build apps exactly exactly okay. we built a demo app for ourselves we in fact everything all the processes in our team are uh, are running on our own apps so oh, okay. so my we are modernizing processes for ourselves as well ah, practice what you preach <laughs> practice yeah. what you preach so, uh, what sort of app have you developed can i see a demo sure so uh, very recently we launched an app for uh, networking mm. it's called networking ninja so basically rather than saying this i will probably demo the app to you but basically what it does is it scans a card and assuming you are at a networking event you can scan a card and send a cold email right at the spot send a cold email and cold whatsapp okay. through your voice and stuff but let's do the demo that will be more descriptive probably okay so i'll send you the link uh, just check it out on your phone yep perfect i have sent it to you all right got it So it's quite self-explanatory, but so scan business card. I think. Yeah, scan business card. Okay, and uh-huh. I'll click on choose the image. Yeah, scan your business card, choose the image. So basically, just take a picture of the business card. Okay, so like this one. Perfect. So I'll take a picture like this. Yeah. So the thing is, when somebody is offering a business card, you have all the fields over there, but uh, uh, you need to manually type the fields on your oh, phone yeah. and stuff like that. So scanning makes it easy. So you can use the photo. Okay, click, click on, on use photo. photo. perfect let Let's the upload. photo upload hmm. now at the same time when i am meeting you we had a conversation and you want to remember that conversation you are not going to type it in front of me hmm. it takes so much time so much effort it's always easier to talk and record your voice so next thing what we'll do is we'll record the message all right i'll allow it so so it was awesome talking to manan and uh, we talked about like no code and low code and uh, he was really interested in our cold email services so i think this is something that we'll need to talk about so schedule a meeting with manan probably next week monday 12 pm lovely so basically you uh, spoke to your phone like as if it's alexa hmm and uh, as if it's a virtual assistant for you so yeah. it added like a voice not where it's uh, there is a name to that mp3 file whatever absolutely and there is an upload your selfie also right correct so let me click take photo and probably i can take can i do something like this i let's try that no i that's both of them are not coming i'll just take your picture like 
All right. Oh, it's pretty easy. I, I don't think I'll need your tutorial here. <laughs> <laughs> and what is this my location ha uh, so sometimes you want to remember the location you met me in Haan. because it helps you recollect Haan. so you can just uh, enable your location uh, oh so i mean okay we met in bangalore exactly so, okay that and, and if you meet somebody like deepak who you want a signature of okay. or you meet i meet jayant i would love to have your <laughs> autograph so i would love to have that. autograph of you bro <laughs> <laughs> all right it's really bad but fine <laughs> school so we'll do this so i can ask okay can i have your autograph please yeah you can delight the client <laughs> over there right, and, and basically I, i'll just hit submit right that's all uh, just uh, on the location i think it went off okay yeah and hit submit and let let's do the magic prospect added perfect now Oops, from the card it has taken uh, my card it, it captured Oh, it has taken your like face. Face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it has it has put uh, put my signature, my autograph as well. It has taken the exact location. Wow. Yes. Oh wow! It's very interactive also. Yeah. Oops. Where did it go? Okay, yeah, I got all it. All prospect. I got yeah. it. Got it. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty easy, man. And like, all your details of your phone number, etc., was auto captured. Oh. So basically, we have already captured all the information. Now I've given you a couple of buttons in the bottom. Hmm. Uh, do you see the WhatsApp button? Yeah. Let's just tap on that. Okay. Oh, okay. And it goes to your your number directly. Exactly, because I, my number is already captured from the uh, from the card. From the so card. I don't need to save your number. You don't need to do anything. It will directly open my chat and send you the message. How does it know that you have WhatsApp or not? Don't ask that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. I'll trade secrets. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's pretty good, bro. Hello, Jan. The same good. thing. If you go back, uh, there's an email button as well. Which will basically do the same thing and send you an email. Send you a, like a cold email. Exactly. And exactly. if you take a selfie, also you can like, oh hey, we have. You can send this particular same image. Uh, like uh, save it uh, in a computer or something. And yeah, and we can also embed this image in the in the email if email needed. Email it, sir. Yeah. Oh wow. There are a lot of uh, more modifications that we want to do. Uh, and change the copy for sure, and of that's course. what I'm going to come to you for, <laughs> dude. I'm like my brain neurons are firing like anything. <laughs> like, oh, I can also add like, oh, hey, can you imagine that this entire thing was built without writing a single line of code within ten days? Absolutely. I can do something similar for you. Absolutely, dude. This demo ka demo bhi hoga na, like yeah. you don't need. So to that's write. the intention. I can showcase my work very, very uh, easily, very fast, without even talking more, because. they experience the app on their own and now ah, they are like okay because i, I want something seen, like this uh, sorry to cut you off because uh, i have seen this thing happen a lot because i, I get pitched a lot by development agency for Correct. apps and uh, web apps and websites and everything and they just claim that yeah. hey i can build this for you you are not just claiming you are showing you're not, not even claiming like bro i have built this just there is here said how it works mm. then you are saying like i can do this for you Correct. So it's basically a showcase, a showcase of work. It's also a proof Haan. that okay, this this thing works. Ah, okay. So, so yeah, the uh, the bottom line is, if you are, you know, I'm seeing so many. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, give me a minute because my brain neurons are firing because uh, it can be done in any any service space. I feel. Correct. So if you are a personal brand strategist, build your own personal brand. If you are a video marketer, might as well make your own video kickass. Show them that I have done it for myself. I can do it for you. If you are a web developer, have a kick-ass website. If you are a web app developer, it's like, oh, here's the demo. If you just click on this link, you will go through a process which will exactly show you what we do and how we do it. Absolutely. Mm. And it's also important to select the use case well, yeah. which is more relatable to your target audience. They should be able to understand. Exactly. It. Exactly. Okay. Ah, uh, so basically, the first thing is practice what you preach and probably what you have done. Like, go to these niche communities, share your work, Correct. and start helping these people out. Right? Yes. But you mentioned something because I am um, I am from a cold email mark, uh, background. So I don't know all this stuff. You go to a lot of these networking events, mm-hmm. and you get a lot of clients through that. Right? right. So uh, and you have grown just like just by networking across this entire thing. So how exactly that happens? Like so, it's not just net- networking; it's more of referrals. So mm-hmm. when you work for somebody, uh, you want to make sure that your work gets seen by their connections at least, mm-hmm. and you get more work through that mm-hmm. because they are the best people who will preach your work if mm-hmm. you do good good work for them. Yeah. And it's so easy when somebody else talks about your work, and then you have like a pool. Mm-hmm. It's it's a warm lead is always much more simpler to sell. 
Yeah. yeah. And plus in you know, agency models, I think selling is not like that big of a challenge because you get a lot of referrals. Exactly. What is a big challenge is like generating the leads, generating the leads, finding that getting to that meeting is always like the yes. biggest yes. Uh, issue. So how exactly you go around it without cold emails, you don't even run ads as far as I yes, know, you don't post any content. How does that happen? So we tried posting some content here and there and that, that helps nurture my client who is already in the funnel and improve the sales call conversions. Yeah. But getting people on sales calls is the challenge and for which what we decided, we, we strongly realized that only like referrals are working the best for us. Mm. Word of mouth is working the best. So we needed to optimize word of mouth. Mm. Now, how did we do that? Was we started giving discounts to our customers, uh, a very specific amount to give a, a, a warm handshake with okay. somebody they know. But what do you mean by warm handshake? Warm handshake is basically uh, introduce me to three people. Okay. We ask three specifically because it's just easier. It's a, it's a good number. <laughs> okay. 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 But uh, introduce us to three people. But we started when we started doing this, people would introduce us to like their their cousins, <laughs> their uncles, just for the sake of it because okay. it's easy for them, right? Uh. Uh, we realize that it's not not the best way to do it. So we found a better way. Firstly, we need to make it extremely simple for the client. Okay. Mm. Only then clients are also everybody in the world is lazy. They want everything spoon fed. Mm. So firstly, we realized okay, rather than letting them select the three people they want to mail or they want to introduce us to, we decided to go on their LinkedIn, uh, get a list of top ten connections, first degree connections that they have mm. that are. Our ICP, our mm. ideal client persona. So you go to their LinkedIn profile? And Correct. So you make it clear uh, before the sales call or like after the sales call has happened or like after the delivery of no, the No, we time? actually make the expectation very clear before even starting working with them. So, oh, like uh, yeah. after the, so if the client says, okay, can you give me some discount? You can say like, after the work is done, I will pick three people or ten people. 10 Places. people 10 people 10 people from your list of your LinkedIn itself first degree, first degree connections huh. who are my ICP you have to select 3 from them that's it uh, okay why don't you, you just, just connect this to all, all <laughs> 10 <laughs> yeah so the, the thing is they, they get a little um, like there is a some, if you do good work they are always open to se send it to more than 3 hmm. but sometimes it's also that even if it's a first degree connection they don't really have a strong strong connection in real life okay. so rather than Giving them, ke, go to these specific people, we let them choose who they want to go to. Out of this 10, just pick 3 just and pick connect three. us. Correct. And when they connect, we also give them a email body or a WhatsApp body that they need to send. Mm. So that they also don't need to think about more things. We spoon feed everything. They, all they have to do so is… This is a copy that you need to use. Open all. WhatsApp and send. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> so, a um, little bit of a detour here. Have you ever read Magnetic Marketing by Dan Kennedy? Um, not really. Huh, sure? Yeah. How did you figure out this particular strategy? <laughs> Experimentation, uh, probably. It was just us trying out some ways and this we, we just came to this. Well, I'm, I'm saying because um, I read this book, Magnetic Marketing by Diane Kennedy, and it was honestly one of the most phenomenal books out there when it comes to this word of mouth marketing. Mm -hmm. And he tells about the story here where uh, he talks about uh, this is the last chapter of the book if you want to take a shortcut like just buy the book and that last chapter you listen to that or read read that but he talks about uh, he one day receives a letter from his friend mm -hmm. where this friend recommends him a plumber mm -hmm. where the plumber was giving a free plumbing audit uh, so he, he would like analyze all the pipes in the house and uh, he would like give uh, like a hundred point checklist or something, whatever. There's some free audit. Right. Like, this is like, okay, I'm getting a free audit. Might as well get it. So he called the plumber. When the plumber came, he came in a Jaguar. Wow. <laughs> with full suit, corporate look. And uh, he would open up his briefcase and he would say, Do you have a TV where you can play this VCR? Yeah. So that, that earlier we had yeah, VCR, yeah. right? So he would like put that. That it would play like a 20 to 25 minute video. That wow. was his video sales letter. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what would happen is like this guy in that in those 20 to 25 minutes, he would go across all the pipes, mm -hmm. analyze them, put it on his checklist. And this video will showcase like what would happen if there is a plumbing leak. It doesn't show, but suddenly the pipe will burst and mm -hmm. your house will be flooded. Whatever, all those uh, basically making them problem aware right. and solution aware. So after that, what uh, he will do is like uh, he had done is like he is like oh from my hundred point checklist, you are clear of ninety six of them or something mm. like that, 
and uh, but there are four places where there is small leakage happening if you don't fix it uh, it will you know, probably cost you thousands of dollars but fortunately for you i can do it you know right now i can fix all of those for like 250 500 whatever number i don't remember that so this guy was like oh okay this is a good deal might as well get it fixed so when he checked all the pipes he would like put his stickers in all the pipes <laughs> so in case something leaks or later they can go ahead and call this guy wow and uh, he fixed them asked him for money then he was like okay i'm willing to give you a little bit of a discount but i would need a favor from you he was like okay what favor uh, i will write a letter on your behalf with your signature i will pay for the letter as well but you send these five letters to five of your friends in your association crazy <laughs> that's exactly what happened to dan from his friend wow yeah so, exactly <laughs> right so when you said that okay i'm also giving a little bit of a discount for mm. pe- for people to refer you other people this seems like uncanny <laughs> it <laughs> feels why, yeah. like i'm copying somebody now <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah i think you, you eventually uh, i think services businesses usually start thinking alike <laughs> <laughs> but that's crazy dude like uh, th- you have never sent a single cold email to get clients yeah. you have uh, uh, no i have never landed a client with cold emails yeah. basically and your entire business has just grown with word of mouth by using this referral strategy yes very very efficiently i would say i am uh, i am really fortunate uh, and i am thankful touchwood but at the same time i also take pride in the work that we do mm. so we put a lot of depth and lot of effort to make sure the the client is like blown away mm. so if you see the product also that we have developed we just try to blow away uh, like mind blow the person sitting opposite to us yeah i, I was like <laughs> <laughs> and once that happens the trust factor really rises then mm. then the conversation is much more simpler and and your clients current you now they also upsell to other services exactly like, mm. exactly it's uh, the lifetime value increases then they give referrals they are always open to you know add value to their network rather than it the the conversation changes they are like they want to introduce me to their network because they also want to blow away their minds uh-huh. and not because they are helping me uh-huh. you know there's there's a difference in approach Uh, because it's like that hey you know if i bought let's say iphone 15 correct like oh you know what this is so cool correct then i also try to convince you to buy this stuff exactly exactly because you are so good yeah hmm that's that's what we try to do ah all right man this is phenomenal so if i have to summarize mm-hmm. for our audience here so the if, if somebody is in the starting phase of their business the first thing that they should do is like really own, hone the skills yeah. and participate in this communities where You know, showcase, you showcase your work, your work showcase your start work. helping people selflessly Correct. that's how you get your first client yes. but once you get your first client you give them phenomenal results and yes. this referral thing you know you, you can give them some discounts for referring to other people or you know we used to do it simply but i think what you just mentioned makes sense mm-hmm. uh, you know make it easy make, make it, it easy, easy for the client everywhere ha yeah. make it easy for them and uh, showcase your work like basically like practice what you preach yeah. right if you are a video marketer create your own videos if you are a social media marketer helping somebody to grow their brand grow your own freaking brand to show that. <laughs> and so. yes uh, don't get into fomo of seeing other agencies uh, like yeah uh, ads will work for some agencies might not work for you but sometimes you know just trying out all the channels in the world and i'm going i've gone through this that's why i'm saying this trying all the channels might not work for you mm. what what works best for you is the channel that you are selling yeah so that's what i feel yeah but what happens if you because this is a hypothetical question mm-hmm. right there might also come a point where there your referrals might also hit like a ceiling yes i mean we are not there yet yeah. but it might it may also happen that by the time we reach that point we would have built like a million dollar business <laughs> no it's but, a, so branding is definitely important hmm. on the side that like you need to showcasing your work is your your other funnel which is working right mm. from from there it's like not content reference. and everything exactly like mm. organic content and stuff uh, there are definitely like there are cold ways and there are advertisement methods and stuff but it's again you need to choose what you want to prioritize first yeah. that's it yeah the next easiest thing that next you can next easiest thing exactly ah, cool bro that is some phenomenal wisdom here and i got to so, see your app i mean why don't you sell this app Let's see. We. I mean, I, what do you send me is a glide link, basically. It's but it, it's not a. a it's a PWA. It's a progressive web app, so huh. you can install it on Android, iOS, web, uh, desktop, tablet, everything. Why not to actually launch this? This seems <laughs> like a phenomenal way to generate leads, bro. 
let's see let's see that's the plan i want to refine the product a little more hmm. and then maybe we'll launch it for for the world ah awesome cool manan thanks a lot for thanks for uh, having me jayan uh, showing up like it was it was a pleasure being here awesome man awesome so yeah you guys let me know what you thought about our conversation here with manan uh, i know for a fact that he is extremely extremely talented so if you ever want to get in touch with him what is the best way best way is linkedin yeah good linkedin ka profile uh, link i'll just put it in the comments or something just talk to him uh, you will probably get a lot of insights and yeah thank you very much for watching thank Thanks you very for much for again. yes <laughs> awesome